Hello dear friends, this is Alex Tressor with another video about Parkinson's disease. As you know, I am the creator of Parkinson's on the Move program that combines exercises, diet, and stress reduction to achieve the best possible results when dealing with Parkinson's disease. I want to talk today a little bit about side effects of some of the medications, some of the popular medications that we take, and specifically I'm going to focus on one which is called Rapinerol. I started taking Rapinerol about three or four years ago. Immediately I started feeling the side effects and then I got used to it and lately I've been feeling absolutely horrible when I take Rapinerol. How does Rapinerol manifest itself? Well, in a variety of ways. Uh, my neurologists always ask me, do you have any addictions? Not really, no. And then my neurologist started asking me about side effects such as an obsessive behavior, gambling, sexual addiction, smoking, drinking. Fortunately for me, I did not have any of those side effects. Uh, now, I did once end up in Kiev, but that was only to find out how they can put two pounds of butter into one pound chicken breast. I came back very soon after that and that's when the war in Ukraine broke out. I had nothing to do with it, or maybe I did. I'm, I don't remember. It may help some people with some of the symptoms, but other people it can make actually pretty sick and it can make you pretty desperate. Now, when I say desperate, I mean that the fatigue level goes up 150% on Rapinerol. Uh, you are listless, you are apathetic, your enthusiasm, your creativity drops. Even though the side effects of Rapinerol are well documented, having been on it and having been off it now for a while, I can attest that you're better off not taking it. Always consult your doctor, always consult your neurologist. Uh, they have certain answers, but they don't have the time to spend with us and watch us uh, in everyday situations, how we feel, what we do. I think physical activity, diet, stress reduction are still the best medications you can use. If you're not able to do any of those things, I'm not sure who can help you. You can certainly call me or go on my website pdonthemove.com and I will try to help you the best way I can. I've helped a lot of people who have gotten fantastic results uh, just like me. I've had Parkinson's for nine years and I remain largely asymptomatic only because I think if you run or jog 20 minutes every other day, that's the best drug you can use. I kid you not. Uh, it works miracles. You have to supplement it with the best nutrition you can give your body uh, and that means maybe taking some vitamins, some supplements, but certainly you want to stay away from the heavy drugs like Rapinerol. Uh, nine years after being diagnosed I'm actually able to cut down on some of the medications and the only reason uh, I am or I can is because I work so hard at maintaining my overall health and uh, stability. Uh, my diet is fantastic. Uh, I get enough rest and um, get out in nature. Get out and walk. Don't wait for the doctors to scare you. Scare yourself and run to the health club and do what you can. Give me a call and I can consult you and how to go about these transitions how to choose better diet, how to choose exercises that will work for you. We're all very different. Our level of uh, athleticism and abilities is completely different. In the last few years I've been teaching people with PD and uh, the results speak for themselves. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much for watching this video and please spread the word. Tell as many people as you can that there are alternatives to medications, there are alternatives to sedentary lifestyle, and we can talk all about it when you call me. Thank you.
Some lesser known side effects of PD medications. You start saying I cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs instead of good morning. While asleep, your restless legs do some shoplifting. Your apathy is so severe you haven't showered in weeks. Instead of a feather to stimulate your mate, you now use the whole chicken. You get a new wallet for your birthday with a combination lock. You hump your neurologist's leg to indicate that something might be a bit off. Las Vegas has the most wanted poster of you in every hotel lobby. Thank you.